welcome to another lecture of our automata playlist so in our previous lecture we learned how to form a regular expression and in our previous module we have learned how to form an automata so in today's lecture we will see how to convert a automata to a regular expression for that we need a theorem that is Argand's theorem so first learn this and then we will check with an example so the theorem is let p and q be two regular expressions we already know what regular expressions look like okay so p and q are what they are two regular expressions and if p does not contain a null string so p uh, does not contain a null string then r equals to q plus rp r equals to q plus rp how to form that we will see later okay how this equation comes we will see that in an example don't worry so this r equals to q plus rp this equation will have a solution okay will have a unique solution okay unique solution and what will be the solution the solution will be qp star the value of r will be qp star so now see through an example so the question is proof that the strings recognized by this automata will be this so this is a regular expression you can see so i will have to convert this automata to a regular expression and i will have to prove that the regular expression will be just like this so for the solution we will see there are three states q1 q2 and q3 you can see q1 is the initial and q3 is the final states and they are the uh, alphabets are a and b okay so we need to find find equations for all three of the states okay so there will be uh, how many states are there three so I, there will be three equations so i will first make the equation for q1 so consider only the incoming transitions during making that um, equation of a state we will only consider the incoming transitions so what equation of q1 will be what so what are the incoming transitions in q1 so see if it, the state is already in q1 and the incoming string is a then it reaches q1 and also from q2 it, it takes input b and reaches to q1 so from q1 it takes input a and reaches to q1 and for uh, from q2 it takes input b and reaches to q2 also as this is the initial state there is another string and another way to reach q1 that is null okay so even without accepting anything it is in the initial state okay so what will be the equation for q2 now if q1 takes input a it will reach to q2 and also if q2 takes input b it will reach to q2 and if q3 takes input a it will go to q2 so see yeah, q2 equals to q1 a q2 b and also q3 a okay and also q3 a and what will be the for equation for q3 it will be just q2 a there is only one q2 a okay so these are the equation of the states remember these equations so first we will solve this equation so first we will put the value of q3 in q2 so what was the value of q3 in q2 it was q2a q3 equals to q2a okay so what will uh, and what was q2's value q2's value was q1a plus q2b plus q3a so in this part i will put the value of q3 that is q2a so thus this part remains same and q3 becomes q2a and this a after that okay so it becomes q2aa and from here i will take common of, of q2 so q1a remains as it is and q2 gone common and the remaining string becomes b plus aa okay and what are what is the string now so see this is the form of the ardennes theorem here the Arden th ardennes theorem will come into play okay so see if q2 is r see q2 is r then what it is r equals to what q plus rp so this q q1 a is r uh, sorry this q1 a is q and this b plus a a is p and this q2 is r okay so i can compare this equation with this equation r equals to q plus rp and what was the solution of this equation q p star so what is the value of q here it is q1 a okay and what is the value of p here it is b plus a a so it will be q1 a and b plus a a whole star so q p star okay so that's how we use the ardennes theorem so this is well what we get from this this is q2 and now we will also need to form the equation similarly for q1 so what was the value of q1 again so it was q1 a plus q2 b plus null so again i will just put the value of q2 here so what is the value of q2 it is see 
what is the value of q2 we already calculated it it is q1a then b plus a a whole star so q1a q1a b plus a whole star and this b comes here and null again i will take common as q1 so it will be what a plus uh, a into b plus a whole star into b this whole thing and again null so here again this becomes this ardent theorem comes into play so r equals to uh, q plus rp so here q1 is r and this whole string is p and null is q so the solution will be what the solution will be q p star so it is q null and p star a plus a uh, into b plus a whole star into b this whole thing is p so this whole thing star will be p star so again if i concatenate a string with null it will become just the same string so we get this value for q1 but is q1 our accepting state or final state no what was our final state our final state was q3 so again i will put this value in q2 and from that to q3 so what was q2's value again let's see what was q2's value again so if you know q2's value was q1a and this b plus a whole star so i will put q1's value in it again so q2's value will be the so q1's value then a then b plus a whole star okay and again i will put this q2's value into q3 so what was q3's value q3's value was this q2a so it will be this whole string and a along with it so this is the string that is accepted by our automata so this is the regular expression that is accepted by those automata so if i need to convert a automata to a, a regular expression i will do it like this okay so see again i am uh, telling you this thing if you don't get it okay if you don't understand if you think this this video was fast then just watch it in 0.5x or 0.75x again and pause whenever you are getting doubt pause and go back for 10 or 20 seconds and watch it again okay so you will get it i am just substituting uh, the equations here this is just uh, like mathematics this is not something vast of automata just we get this theorem and we are applying and substituting this uh, into the equations again and again so i'll give you another example okay so if this thing you do not understand just watch it or if you get it you just ignore or skip it okay but if you don't understand it fully i will suggest to watch this example also so here also we have three states q2 q1 and q3 okay but here it is something different because here the initial state is the final state okay so see i have just written the equations of the states for q1 it will be what null there should be one null because it is initial state and there should be one q1a q1a and one q3a q3a only the incoming edges okay and for q2 it will be q1b q2b and q3b q1b q2b q3b and for q3 it will be just q2a okay so i have got this and now i will just do what i will just use substitution so i will substitute the value of q3 equals to q2a in the equation of q2 so q2 equals to what? q1a q2b and q3b so for q3b i have written q2a b and down then i will take common q2 again just like this first one q1b uh, remains as it is and q2 i take common and what we get b plus ab so it will be again like ardent's theorem so sorry r equals to q plus rp star uh, rp then the value of r will be qp star so it is q and this is p star okay by ardent's theorem and here again i will put this value into q1's equation what was the q1's equation it was q1a plus q3a plus null so i will put value of q2 but here is no q2 here okay so i will have to first put the value of q3 here so q3 value of what q2a so q3 becomes q2a and the a remains as it is and then i can put the value of q2 so the q1a remains as it is and q2's value becomes same q1b and b plus ab whole star and then there i have two a's okay so this the whole this thing is the value of q2 and the double a remains after that and null remains as it is so then i will also take common from it also one so after taking q1 common what we get a plus b b plus uh, ab star a a okay that's what we get and also plus null so see after that 
we take what we have a value of q1 so this is our equation okay so so you might not understand it this is our equation so r equals to q plus r p so this is the value of p and this is the value of q so the uh, solution of the equation will be what q1 equals to q and then p star so this whole things whole star okay so this will the null will be just eliminated and this is the answer we have got so this will be the regular expression that is accepted why because we are not again uh, we do not again need to uh, uh, substitute the value of q1 to q2 and the value of q2 to q3 because q1 is our accepting state here okay so what the regular expression is accepted by q1 that is we need to know so this is the answer of the uh, conversion of the automata to this regular expression so i hope this is clear now